Dawn. Dead by Dawn. <laughs> Who doesn't want a human face on a dog like a Rottweiler tor torso? Freaking thing is locked, man. All I want is a. I want Dutch, man. I want Dutch in mud. I want jungle briefing Dutch. Someone got a knife. Cousin I could Dave, just. Cousin Dave. What? Whoa. You gotta, you gotta wait for this stuff. Come on. You gotta wait. No, I know. It's I coming can... in stores soon. Okay. You can't have it right now. This gl the glasses. So you can't have it. You can't have it. Sorry. Look, I, I'm I, I'm at the NECA booth. I'm freaking out right now. I was trying to get it. I, mean, I got busted. I'm sorry, man. Listen. Hey, hey, it's all right. It's all right. You look great. No, I just you I'm know. addicted to color and toys and of course aliens and predator. Of course. I mean, look at all the colors we got going on in the booth today. Even Dutch is wearing pure red. I'm freaking out right now. Tell me about the Comic Con exclusive Dutch. The Comic Con exclusive Dutch is the Jungle Briefing Dutch himself. From the beginning of the movie, when he meets Dylan, 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 son of a bitch, Out. he uh, he has the jungle briefing for what Dylan and his team are gonna do, and they lock arms in that most famous embrace, and we have that on the packaging there, which is like the beefiest muscles you've uh, ever seen when you were a kid. Going, holy, are they gonna explode? It's a muscle off. It's a muscle off. Yeah. You know who's got the bigger muscles, and uh, who's got the longer. Anyway, um. But anyway, we've got him on sale uh, for thirty dollars here at the Comic Con only, and uh, it's an all new, uh, all new figure to purchase. Well, this year is the fortieth anniversary of Predator. Are you thirtieth anniversary? Excuse me. I was like, am I getting all holy oh, crap, dude? Sorry, thirtieth anniversary of Predator this year, and we have a full line of figures. Uh, we have a couple of Predators that are out now. We have Duchess that are out now. Throughout the movie, he changes costumes and he starts, you know, getting less and less clothes as the movie goes on. So we have him in. I'm all naked now. I'm naked and, and covered in mud. You know. <laughs> so we have all the variations shown here in the jungle scene, from when he goes to Patrol Dutch to Jungle Disguise Dutch, uh, and we have a bunch of variations of the Predator as well. Unmasked, masked, unmasked. We have the Ultimate Predator that's out now. We have the ABP Pillar that's out now, and this year we'll be coming out with the Jungle Demon 18-inch Predator, which oh will have LEDs no. in the gauntlet, LEDs in the eyes when they flash yellow. The last couple years we've been dealing with the 30th anniversary of Aliens, believe it or not. The 30th anniversary is everywhere, and uh, we've expanded the line to the Marines, not just the creatures, but we want to get the whole team out there as best we can. So not only do we have Hicks and Hudson 2-pack out now, we've got Vesquez and Frost out, and uh, later on this year we're coming out with Bomber Jacket Ripley, a second version of Vesquez when she's in the battle uh, vest, and none other than the director James Cameron himself in a Marine uniform with clapboard and his viewfinder that he used in the film and whatnot like that. So James Cameron coming to Toys R Us exclusive at the end of this year. You guys also do Ash versus the Evil Dead. That's right. Season two was a big hit, and we love doing the figures. This year, we're coming out with an ultimate Ash versus Evil Dead hero, Ash. He'll have all the different expressions. He'll have the glove. He'll have the wooden hand. He'll have the chainsaw. He'll have his shotgun, um, and he'll have a little picture of the car that I was such a big part of season accessory. two. <laughs> well, it's possessed, right? It's like that. And we've got the Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn 2-pack with Evil Ed for the first time, and Hero Ash as well. Uh, Ed will have the sliced off head uh, from the axe scene, uh, you know, when he slices his head off. Everybody wants some Evil Dead figs. you got to get them at NECA. What about Chucky, man? NECA and Chucky, tell us about it. Want to play? Little Chucky is coming out this year in a big way. We've got Ultimate Chucky. He comes with four heads, all the accessories from Part 1 Child's Play, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, and the sixth film, Curse of Chucky. We decided to do all the heads in one box, and he's going to come in the good guy style box with open window flap. That box, it looks vintage, man. I love yeah, it. It's... We're keeping it old school with Chucky, and he comes with all of his weapons, knives, kitchen knife, the ruler from part two, the, the uh, broken hand with the knife sticking out. He comes with the razor blade from part three and the gun from part three. Uh, we're going all out on Chucky this year. He's awesome. And if you're a Chucky fan, each little knife, you know, that your mom would suck up in the vacuum or whatever, the detail on that is phenomenal. <laughs> Tell us about the artists behind these products. Oh, wow. It's, it's a painstaking process, but it's all done with love. You know, we love these properties like no other, and we study it like no other. So down to the good guy's symbol on some of the props, like the hammer, down to the symbol on the ruler, everything is done meticulously. We really look at the reference. We love these movies and love these properties, so we give it the attention it deserves. Get your good guy, Chucky! Wanna play? Now who doesn't want a Mogwai with an Uzi, huh? <laughs>
<laughs> We're coming out with Mohawk this year with his Uzi gun from Gremlins 2, the new batch. Finally, fans will be able to get him in his colored movie colors. We also have uh, Ultimate Gizmo out now, and he comes with a bunch of different faces. Uh, the uh, candy cane accessory, the trumpet, the Santa hat. So fans can really go nuts with Gremlins this year in that form. So you could gear up with Gremlins at NECA. That's right. Gremlins. <laughs> This year we're going to be doing an ultimate Freddy Krueger from Freddy's Revenge, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. He'll come with uh, three different heads, a magnetic flame on the back, you are all my children now, and he'll have the Hell Rottweiler, the Hell Hounds, uh, with the weird creepy baby faces from that film. And we're also coming out with part three, Dream Warriors, the Freddy Krueger puppet, when he transforms into the puppet and comes alive to murder them. That's actually the creepiest thing I've seen in your booth, man. This is awesome, yeah. right? I mean, tell me about, look he'll at that. Be fully bendable, and he'll come with a stand and a beautiful window box with new art by uh, horror artist Jason Edmonston. We commissioned him to do the front box cover art, and it looks beautiful. Here's it's going to be a great release. Here's the question, though. Do you think that'd be a good pickup thing to have for girls? Like, you want to play Freddy puppets? <laughs> Just say, this is God. You think that'll work? Uh, no. This year we're doing an accessory set for Friday the 13th, so it's going to be a box set for kind of diorama displays for all the different Jason figures. We've done part 2 Jason, part 3 Jason, part 4 Jason, part 6 Jason, and uh, there's this still year, not enough. There's still not enough. There's, you know, there's like 12, 13 films, right? So with this year we got the Camp Crystal Lake sign coming, we've got the fire, we've got the dock. For Jason fans, it's a dream come true. The only obscure figure would be that old uh, homeless woodsman that just goes, it, it's a death cast, right? <laughs> we will not be making him. That'd be uh, funny. That'd be a joke, though. Fans, fans can dream, I suppose. So, yeah. <laughs> when I'm not designing all kinds of crazy cool stuff in NECA, I'm watching Famous Monsters TV. Bleh. Yep. Okay. Do you have a favorite and why? Uh, I do. I do. It is, it is the creature. I know that's kind of like a generic, but it's really my favorite because...